Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we will be showing you how to install Emu Elac and copy your games to the GameForce Retro Gaming Handheld. First you will need to download the operating system which is called Emu Elac. Go to the website which is linked in the description and you will see the latest version available. In this instance it is version 4.2. Scroll down the page to the downloads section. You are looking for the file name with Imuilac Gameforce AARCH64 then the version number and it ends with image.gz. Click on this file to download it. While that is downloading, you will also need to write the image file to your micro SD card. We recommend Etcher as it is available on Windows, Mac and Linux. Download the version for your operating system and install it. Once the image file is downloaded, insert the micro SD card you will be using into your PC. Ignore any messages regarding unformatted drives. Open Etcher and you will see three options. Choose Flash from File and locate the image file that you downloaded. Next, you will need to choose your micro SD card drive. Etcher usually suggests the correct drive, but double and triple check you are selecting the correct drive, otherwise you could write over your PC's hard drive. Double and triple check again that you have chosen the correct drive and then press the flash button to proceed. You may receive a security prompt, choose yes to continue. Etcher will now decompress the image file and write it to your micro SD card. This should not take too long, just a few minutes depending on the speed of your micro SD card. Once Etcher has finished, you can close the Etcher software and safely eject the micro SD card from your computer. Insert the micro SD card into your game files and switch it on. For the first boot, the process will take longer as it is finishing setting up the operating system and reallocating the micro SD card storage. This should take around 3 minutes. During this period of time, do not switch off the game files or press any buttons. Once the installation process has completed, you will see the Emuelec front end with a setup screen. If you have not copied games to a micro SD card for Emuelec before, keep watching and we will show you how. First, correctly shut down the game force by pressing start, then choose quit, then yes. Remove the micro SD card and plug it back into your computer. Open Disk Management, you can search for it as shown on the screen. You will see a list of drives on your computer. Scroll down the list until you see the micro SD card. It is easy to spot as you will see Emuilac and EEROMs partitions. Choose the EEROMs partition. Right click and choose Drive Letter and Paths. Click on Add and then choose a drive letter. It can be any letter you want. Click on OK. The drive letter will now be assigned to the ROMs partition on the micro SD card. You can now close the disk management software. Open Explorer and you will now see three drives. Emuilac, a Linux partition and EEROMs. Open EEROMs. You will now see a list of folders with many of them being console or computer names. These are the folders you copy your game ROMs to. So for example there's Amiga, Atari 2600, Commodore 64, Mega Drive, PC Engine and many more. If for example you have some Mega Drive games to copy, simply enter that folder and copy your Mega Drive ROM files to it. If you have some Atari 2600 games, enter the Atari 2600 folder and copy those ROMs to there. 
You can repeat the process for any system and run files you have. They do need to go into the correct folder, otherwise they may not be recognised by emu elec when scanned. Once you have finished copying the files, safely eject the micro SD card and insert it back into your game force. Switch it on and the game force will boot up and scan your card for newly added games. This may take a while if you have added many games in one go. Once it has finished scanning for new games, you will be back on the Emuelec menu. Scrolling left or right will now show the new gaming systems that you have added. Choosing a system will display a list of games available for it. Simply choose a game and it will load the appropriate emulator and start to run the game. That's a basic overview of how to install the operating system and copy games to the game force. We hope you have found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to keep up to date with future videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.